Hello. In this video, we're going to go ahead and cover the local snapshot protection and placement rule set from the Boss Provider 2.0 from Pure Storage. Storage policy based management, otherwise known as SPBM, is one of the huge differentiators between VMFS and VVOLs. It allows the Boss Provider from the given storage array to advertise specific rules to allow those policies to leverage array features directly within these policies. Here we're going to go ahead and create a storage policy with a local snapshot interval of one hour and a retention policy to retain all those snapshots for 24 hours. Now there'll be some additional rules that we'll cover in the policy uh, structure, but here we can just make a name so it's obvious what this is. Go ahead and click next. We want to select the rules for the pure storage and go ahead and click next. First rule we need to add is this, is this a flash array? So this is one of the required fields for these storage policies to be able to leverage VVOLs on the pure storage flash array. And then we're gonna go ahead and select the local snapshot protection. The local snapshot protection capabilities and rule sets for them are the snapshot interval, how long to retain all snapshots, and then the long-term retention of how many snapshots to retain per day and then how many days to retain that many snapshots. So in our rule set, we wanted it to be one hour and retain all snapshots for one day, 24 hours. In our long-term retention, this can be however you want to configure it. In this case, we'll go ahead and configure it one per day for 10 days. And one of the nice things here is there is a little information button that you can go ahead and hover over, and this will give additional information for each one of these rules and hopefully clear up any confusion with them. So let's go ahead and finish setting the long-term retention to retain one snapshot per day for 10 days. After clicking next, it'll go ahead and scan the storage providers that this vCenter has registered and see if there are any compatible storage containers. And here we see two VVOL data stores that are compatible. And what that does is it checks to make sure that those arrays support this specific feature. So we can go ahead and find this new storage policy that we created, local snapshot, one hour interval, 24 hour retention. And on this page, you can review the rules, see what VMs are in VM templates are using it and what storage uh, is compatible with this rule. Let's go ahead and assign this policy to a VM now. On the VM page, you can go to configure and then policies. And this will allow us to apply this policy to either the entire VM or to configure it per disk. Now, depending on how many storage policies there are in the UI, it could take some time to find it. But once you find it, you'll be able to then select it. So up here, just a little, there it is. All right, here we can either configure per disk or for the entire VM. For this VM, we're gonna just configure it for the entire VM. Now, when this storage policy is applied, this lets the VASA provider on the array know to go ahead and configure these objects for VVOLs according to those storage policies. Additionally, when we applied the policy, there was no need to select a replication group in order for VASA to be able to place these volumes in a protection group. This is because with a local snapshot placement rule set, VASA will automatically create a protection group on the array and pair it to the storage policy that was set and configured for these VMs meaning that now the, this storage policy in this vCenter is now paired with this given protection group on this array. Here we can go ahead and see the VM compliance as well. Now, a differentiator we wanted to make sure is that if rule sets change, to be able to make sure that they can dynamically be changed on the array as well. And so here we're gonna change the long-term retention to retain all to retain four snapshots per day for 14 days. Now, when this is changed, VMware will want to know, do I need to reapply this policy now or will it be manually done later? If done manually later, the compliance will, status will show out of date. So the storage policy needs to be reapplied to this VM. When applying the policy to this VM again, the VOS provider gets that there's been a change in the rule sets and will automatically update that given protection group on the array. What this does is it helps so that you don't lose any of those previous snapshots taken from this protection group or have to move these volumes into a different protection group, much as how you would have to do it if, and previously with replication groups. 
So this makes it much more dynamic and paired directly to that storage policy. Now the next thing we want to go ahead and do is apply this at an individual virtual disk level. Now this VM has several virtual disks and maybe I only need local snapshot for let's say the VM home, the config vvol, and maybe just the boot volume. And so here I'm gonna go ahead and just select the storage policy and apply it only to the VM home and the boot volume. Now this will go ahead and apply the policy and you'll see VVOL no requirements policy still apply to those other virtual disks. And the VM home and hard disk one have the storage policy assigned to it. One additional value of this local snapshot protection placement rule set is that now we can go ahead and apply this policy as the default storage policy for the VVOL's data store if we wanted to. In previous versions of the VOS provider, in order to have local snapshot protection, they needed to be within the replication rule sets, which required assigning a replication group to the VMs. So you were not unable to use those storage policies as the default storage policy and have them automatically apply to the VMs, as that process didn't allow you to choose specific replication groups. Now looking at that storage policy, we can see the compatible VVOL data stores for it. So let's go ahead and now apply the default policy to some given VMs. Here, let's just do data store default, and we'll see this applied to that VM and all of its virtual disks. And you'll notice that it doesn't just say VM storage policy as default, but it actually uses the default storage policy. And this is a new policy that we used as well, different from the one that we created earlier. And so a new protection group is created on the array. And here we can see all those volumes placed in there. Additionally, the name is not what is paired with the protection group to the storage policy. These are stored in the actual metadata of the VOS provider. So you can rename the protection group on the array to make it easier to identify specifically what this protection group is paired with. So I can see, oh, this is the data store default for vCenter 3. And then any VM that is created and you leverage the data store default, then that will automatically be placed within that protection group on the array when the storage policy is applied to the VM. So here we'll go ahead and apply it to another VM. And that'll update and show the VM storage policy as the default that we assigned to the VVOL data store. And looking at the protection group again on the array, we can go ahead and see that sure enough, even after we renamed the protection group, all those volumes were placed in there again. Now let's go back to vCenter and, in, and the storage policies. You can go ahead and see the VM compliance. These are the two that are using the data store default and sure enough, they're there. Thank you so much for watching and appreciate your time. For more information about VMware and VMware products with Peer Storage, please see our platform guide.